Today's visit to Malta is brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real, everyday cruisers. After sailing all night through the Sicilian Channel, we have arrived in Malta. This morning we passed through the beautiful, beautiful Maltese archipelago, which is three islands, Gozo, Camino, and Malta. We are here now in Valletta, Malta, where we're going to be spending the day. This, folks, is an absolutely incredible morning sail in, and again, we have really, really lucked out with the weather. It is gorgeous, it's warm, there's no breeze. I think that if we can get through this day without rain, we are just gonna be so thankful. This will be day number two of absolutely perfect weather. All right, so, so much in store for today. Today, we are going to be doing a really cool tour. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you may remember us saying that we are touring today with Rolling Geeks. Rolling Geeks is kind of like a GPS-led golf cart tour. So we're going to be taking a ferry to the Rolling Geeks uh, head office, I guess you could say, and getting on board our golf cart, and we're gonna to be touring the three cities area. This is a totally new experience for us. We don't know what to expect, but as always, when we were looking for excursions and for something to do here in Malta, one of our subscribers, you know who you are, told us about this awesome tour, and we jumped right on it. We thought that is so perfect for our family. So as always, we love our community and we thank you all so much for helping us to plan this trip because really all of the inspiration for our daily activities has come from you guys. So we're going to relax for the next little bit. I don't even think we're going to get off the ship until about 11 o'clock. So it's uh, some balcony time for us. We're going to enjoy this spectacular view and then head up to the yacht club for some breakfast and then regroup, pack our little shore day bag and head ashore. We are enjoying breakfast with a beautiful view of Malta here in the Yacht Club restaurant, which is on deck 18. There is no deck 17 on these ships. It's kind of a superstition, I guess. So I ordered Eggs Benedict, and Junior ordered some beautiful French toast with a side of whipped cream and fresh fruit. So we're dipping his blackberries in the whipped cream and eating them. It is absolutely lovely. Mr. Cruz Tips TV got his favorite muesli. And we are going to go back to the room. As I mentioned earlier, we're going ashore today, so we have to pack our shore day bag. This morning, we couldn't decide where we wanted to eat. We popped up to the pool deck to see if we wanted to eat at the buffet out there, but it was a little bit chilly. So we opted to settle in here, and we're glad we did. It's really peaceful and relaxing. And of course, hello, this view is absolutely gorgeous.
right, we caught the ferry from Valletta to the three cities. You just walk until you see the signs that say ferry, and then you pay when you get on. We got two round trip tickets for about six euro. Actually, I'm sorry, that was three round trip tickets for six euro. That's two adults and one child, and we're off. Wow. Smart city is the little Dubai. Oh, okay. A little nice. Dubai. Little Dubai. Wow. Because here it's a historic place and there it's modern and mm -hmm. Okay. After you go back to the same world until uh, a pool. There is a big pool. You can see on the right of the road. Mm -hmm. It's for Martha Film Studios. Oh. So the pool is empty because there is no film mm -hmm. recording now. But this is the pool. Oh, wow. And this is the sea. You're kidding. And so you can't you're... tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The peninsula was appropriated and turned into a fortified citadel. Like its neighbors, Espiqua and Senglia, or Isla. <laughs> it's a bit bumpy. We are rolling, rolling, rolling. This is Chris of TV. A little heavy on the pedal there. Jokey. Well, now it's, it's weird now because now it's not going fast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like something happened. Whoa. All right, well that was fast. Here we are in our Rolling Geeks golf cart. So our guide is taking us for about a kilometer and then we're on our own. Mr. Chris Tips TV is driving and whoo, <laughs> these things are zippy. They're really, really fast. Um, we do have to remember to drive on the left side of the road, right Junior? Yeah. They're like, don't forget, you need to drive on the left side of the road. So. This adventure is officially underway After with rolling meters, Oh, keep right, oh. then immediately turn left. Okay, we're gonna call that Big Brother for the day. So that is our GPS navigation, Big Brother. So the manager at the Rolling Geeks office told us we needed to relax, make lots of stops. We have a full two and a half hours. We don't need to rush. We don't have anything to worry about. So that's exactly what we've done. As you can see, we have the ocean behind us. We just passed some kind of a significant building, but we're, we're having a hard time absorbing all of it because it's happening so fast. So I can't remember the name of the building. Anyway, this is a ton of fun. The golf cart we're in though is a little bit accelerator happy. So when we first... <laughs> When we first got in, the thing just shot out of the little lot and we are just having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to stabilize the speed, but it's all good, it's all fun, the brakes work just fine, so not too worried about it. If you're coming to Malta, this is a really, really fun thing to do. Very different, very much off the beaten path. So, a little note about the weather today. <laughs> Um, on the ferry over this morning, I would actually have described the weather as hot. It was bright and sunny. The sun was beating down on us. It was probably close to 80 degrees. Now there's a bit of cloud cover and this breeze came in. As soon as we, as soon as our ferry parked, it turned cold very, very quickly. So we're super glad that we brought our jackets because we definitely need them, especially when the cart gets rolling. So let's go off to our next stop. It's <laughs> this is my speed, baby. 
This is my speed. You'll kill us all. <laughs> Make a U-turn if possible. No, no. Immediately it turn right. It doesn't. It doesn't. Guys, I haven't driven on the left side of the road for over 20 years. I feel like I picked it up like I'm riding a bike. It's not too bad. The roundabouts can be a little bit hairy. <laughs> turn left. Oh, oh, pardon me. Turn left. It won't go any faster right now, and there's cars like zooming around us. I think it's like speed controlled or something. It has to be. <laughs> Other famous prisoners were members of the Turkish government responsible for the genocide. opposite side of the harbor from where we started from and we have enough time that we got to stop and get a drink. We made about probably five totally wrong turns. The cool thing about this excursion or this activity is that the Rolling Geeks office watches you Big Brother style the whole time and when you make a wrong turn they let you know. So they call you and they turn you around and it's pretty cool service. I think it probably happens quite a lot because there's a lot of very sharp turns and confusing terms and sometimes the um, the GPS seems to lose uh, lose its satellite connection so it's just par for the course. So if you do this tour and you get called by the home office, don't feel bad, it's totally normal. But I would like to go on record officially saying that I, I reverse parallel parked a golf cart with one try. Oh, that was a raindrop that just hit me in the head. So ladies and gentlemen, behold my parking job. Now we're gonna go get a cocktail. Yeah, it's raining. You feel that? Let's go get a drink. waterfront area is lined with cute little restaurants where you can stop and either get a drink or a drink and some snacks. So we've actually decided to kind of settle in for a little lunch. The name of the place that we're eating at is called Debris Eating Place. And it looks like it's these casual little shacks, but when you sit down, they have full menus, full wine lists, great selection of beer. My son even got a hot chocolate. <laughs> I know it's really good. So we have ordered some fish and chips and a Maltese platter. I have no idea what a Maltese platter is, but it sounded like something that we needed to try and junior got chicken chicken sticks and chips chicken sticks and chips so we are going to fuel up we're really really super hungry it's way past lunchtime and then we're going to drive our little golf cart back to the rolling geeks headquarters and then head back to the ship
it's 10 after 4 and when we stopped for lunch, this way right here, when we stopped for lunch, we thought that our tour was basically over with Rolling Geeks. So we were like taking our time and thought, oh, we're just gonna get back in our golf cart and just roll back over to the office. Well, we got back in our cart and they're like, oh no, you have 35 minutes left on the tour. Well, we all needed to use the restroom. And we were concerned about the all aboard time because what happened is when we booked this tour, MSC had said that the ship was going to be leaving port at six. Well, somewhere along the line, they changed it to 5 p.m. So our all aboard time is at 4.30, which is in 20 minutes now. We're fine. We just took the ferry back. We have 20 minutes to do like a 10 minute walk. So we're gonna be okay. But I wanna say that is the closest, would you say that's the closest we've ever pushed it? He's nodding. Yeah, that's the closest we've ever pushed our all aboard time. We were a little nervous there for a minute going, okay, well, there's no other option. Like you have to take a ferry from three cities back to Valletta. So lesson to you guys, be careful. We're okay, but you gotta be careful. So anyway, we're headed back to the beautiful Meraviglia and we do have reservations tonight, you guys for Cirque du Soleil for dinner and a show at 6.15. So we're gonna go get ready and we'll see you there. We're at dinner in the Yacht Club restaurant. We actually decided to postpone our Cirque du Soleil show because it was a long day today. We just didn't feel we had quite enough time to get ready for dinner and a show by 6.15. The sail away that we had in Malta was just so spectacular. So it was very, very kind of the Yacht Club director to reschedule that for us. He was so sweet. He overheard my son and I talking about it in the bar and he offered to get on the phone and reschedule for us. It's definitely an example of the service that you get in the Yacht Club here on MSC Meraviglia. It's really above and beyond what you're accustomed to on a cruise. It's just very special. It's hard to explain until you're experiencing it for a little while, getting to know the staff, but it's pretty incredible. All right. Priorities, priorities. Guys, today's drink of the day is the Aperol Spritz. This is another item from the Yacht Club drink menu. I had seen this drink on Instagram several times and I thought I would never get that. It's Aperol. Didn't think I liked Aperol. And what is the other, what else is it? Oh, Aperol, Prosecco, and Club Soda. Well, I didn't really think that I liked Prosecco or Aperol, but this drink was served to us on embarkation day. It was our welcome drink and I fell in love with it. So cheers to you. Drink of the day today is the Aperol Spritz and it is lovely after a long day of port, uh, port activity. It's super refreshing, kind of citrusy and fruity, but the club soda gives it kind of this not sweet, goes down easy, and I'll have another kind of effect on you. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm not sure if we're going to make it past dinner tonight. We are definitely on that West Coast schedule, so it's been difficult for us to rally after dinner, but we'll see what the night holds. We're going to be having a couple of courses here and then venturing off to see what's going on in the ship tonight. I heard that there is a white party. Well, we didn't exactly make it to the white party tonight. Again, we're on West Coast time, you guys, and it's nine o'clock and we're just about tuckered out here. But this ship is alive. People are walking around. They're dressed in white. They're ready to go. There is no sign of winding down around here. We've had an awesome night. After dinner, we just roamed around and took in all the energy of the Galleria Meraviglia with one of the dome shows, the little dance party off to the side. There's so many cute little kids dancing tonight, hanging out with their families and just enjoying being on vacation. Now we are probably going to go hit the hay. So we will see you all in Barcelona for a wonderful day. We're so excited to be back in Barcelona after, gosh, has it been, has it really been 20 years? You guys, it's been 20 years since we've been to Spain. Um, if you don't know our family story very well. Uh, Mr. Cruz of TVA and I actually lived in Madrid for six months back in the mid 90s before we settled down and got married and it was just such a fun time. So it's a very sentimental experience for us to be going back to Barcelona. So we're going to go get some rest, get geared up for our next port day and until tomorrow folks, we'll see you on the high seas. Thanks so much for following along.